I'm having me some doggy therapy right now here on New Day. We love football, we love animals, and this morning we get to combine the two in a great way. Earlier this year, the University of Washington introduced Dubs 2, an adorable Alaskan Malamute. Look at this. Look at this puppy as its 14th mascot. Dubs 2 has undergone extensive training while living with a family of loyal UW alumni and has become a fixture at Husky football games and other events this season. So please welcome Dubs 2 and his UW student handler, Annalisa Neal. And it's so good to have you here. Yes. Look at him. He's very now. He's very into his toy. Yes. <laughs> Just there's a little food inside there. Yeah. Um, nope. This one he has a duck squeaky toy oh, that I believe he is laying he's, on. He's ripping then, into a duck. <laughs> uh, and then so he has his, his purple tug toy, the quiet toy that we can That's take places. Great. So he stubs one. too until Dubs retires at the end of the yes. year, and yep. then this guy gets to be Dubs. Yes. Then he point. gets. Yeah. So this is what we're calling his red shirt season. It's so. <laughs> He is going to all of the football <laughs> games. He is seeing the field, but he's not getting any official playing time yet. Well, we you have started have to work doing. Up to it. Yes, absolutely. We've started doing um, different events and things like that. He's gone under quite a bit of training. Um, he's of been just, a charmer this morning. Yeah. <laughs> super well behaved. I hope he barks at some point though because he has the most amazing bark. Yes. How was well, he chosen? So um, I've been working with athletics. Um, so actually I am his trainer. Mm -hmm. I was a student handler of Dubs 1 when I was at UW. So my degree is in animal behavior. Oh cool. So it's a very fitting process yes. that I've continued to work with the program. And then um, so as we were looking towards Dubs 1 retiring it's what do we do now? So I've been working with athletics to pick the breeder was kind of the first step. And yep. then um, we found a, um, a great reputable breeder. Um, they're local in Snohomish, um, Dorant Mike. They are absolutely fantastic. Um, and then once they had the litter, it was to look at the litter. Was there a puppy that had the qualities of what we want in the mascot? So he happened to be our choice. There was four enthusiasm. Of them. Yes, yeah. Um, he had just. He's always had, as you see, like the mask on his face. It's yeah. that black, um, which is just a very striking look to the Malamute, which is really nice. And then Can he always had Can that person. Yeah, come here, bud. Come here. Let's let's turn you around here. and get your face. Let's go. Let's right get here. your face good. Yes. See, he's so handsome. He's good just boy. ridiculous. <laughs> Such a good boy. And so the training involves what? Um, so it's a lot of socialization. Oh, so he is um, expected to do a lot of things that normal dogs don't have to do. So handling a stadium full of 70,000 people. Somebody like me you, petting him with yes, an that you have fur. Exactly. That wherever he is walking, there's always hands out there. And so yeah. we wanted a dog who was very He's into it. social. Yes. So he wants to seek out people. And even as a very young puppy, he always had that if something dramatic happened in his world, he would kind of sit and he'd look at it. Yeah. And he decided, oh, it's okay. And then he would go investigate. So it's cool. that bold personality. Yes, yeah. he's a very calm personality. But then he is a Malamute, which they have their thoughts and opinions. <laughs> um, but that and we makes want it that. fun. Yes. We and want that. He so is are talkative. Malamutes and Huskies the same thing? What are so we So they're different about breeds. So if you're okay. looking at like, the American Kennel Club, your Siberian Huskies are smaller than your Malamutes. So Malamutes males are somewhere in that 80 to 90, you could be up to 100 pound range. Right. Your Siberians were about the size he was when he was six months old. Uh, How so old is he now? He's uh, a day shy of nine months. Nine months. So you told me he will probably not get any bigger in terms no, of... his frame is probably fairly set, uh, but he's got some muscle to build. He's at that kind of teenage phase where the parts don't all fit perfectly right. together. <laughs> um, so he's got some more filling out to do. His coat's going to keep coming in, um, really get that kind of rough and mane. Um, but yeah, I would. he's about 70, 75 pounds now. His adult full is probably going to be about 80, yeah. uh, maybe 90 pounds. He's the picture of health. So what <laughs> happens to um, Dubs 1? He gets to enjoy a life of retirement. He so just goes just, and, and has a good time. How old is he? Um, he's going to be 10 in November. Okay, and so do we know how long Dubs 2, soon to be Dubs, will, will reign as the mascot? So we're looking at roughly a career of 10 years. Uh, we want to make sure that they're always happily doing the job. Yep. And so as long as they're physically fit and wanting to do it, and that's really my job at his, as his trainer too, is to make him want to do the things. the things that he does. Yeah, now, so, where will he live? Where will he be? So that part of the process of not only picking out him, but we also picked out an, uh, a caregiver, an owner family. Great. So we have an alumni family um, that are his basically day-to-day -day right. owners. They get to enjoy him as a dog. Um, he's a part of that 
family pet. He just has a couple extra is there, is there a stunt dubs or is there just one nope, dubs at a time? No, one okay. only. Now, if people do see him in public, uh, of course, I just immediately handled him yeah. without asking, <laughs> so I apologize. What, yeah. what should people know about coming up to him, touching him, being around him? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's always just good nature. He is socialized to a different level than your other dog, so he handles it, and that's one of the things that I've done is a lot of what's called counter conditioning. So it's the idea of you pair something that either um, could be potentially scary or not as great for him with food. So like whenever somebody comes up and gives him a big old bear hug, he looks to me because he knows I feed him for things. So when Got people it. are rude to him, he gets food. So he <laughs> ends up thinking it's not such a bad thing. But um, it always is great to ask if you can take a picture, if you can say hi to him, because there are times where it's not the opportune time or we're okay. going from event to event or different places. Well, just remember that he's got a yes. lot of demands on him and, and just Absolutely. treat him with but the he special care that he deserves. saying hi to fans. He loves interacting um, with anybody and everybody. So. He's as handsome as he could be. Good job, <laughs> by the way. And I love the way he's ripping that duck apart. The Husky football team is away for the next two weeks. We've linked their schedule online as well as details about a Facebook Live about Dubs 2 that's happening this Friday. You'll want to see that. Still ahead, thank you, boy. Still ahead, a marketing expert and best-selling author tells us what to do if you face a job loss and how to win at your next job search after this.